same wigs so this video comes courtesy of Enoya hair I do have their website and the link to the hair and all the information listed in the description bar um, they sent me two of the same wigs they're actually bobs with like a china bang and actually the objective of the video is to compare and contrast the difference between the color one and a color 1b now since I usually go for the 1 or the 1B color, that probably is one of my biggest dilemmas when it comes to picking out a wig. Do I want it super jet black or do I want it like a natural brown black? And does it really, really make a difference? So this one right here is a 1B. So this one here is a 1B. This is a Brazilian straight bob definitely has a yakky texture and of course it has that china bang the length on this wig is a 12 inch so this is how the wig comes of course you get a net around the hair that always has static and sticks to me um, and then aside you have some fillers to make sure that the wig is protected and this is the one that's the color one and this is a jet black so this is the jet black color one and then this is the 1B. Off the bat I can already see a huge difference in the color. Um, if I had them one by one it may be a little bit harder to tell the difference but because I've already showed you them both you can obviously tell which one is which but we want to see which one is going to look better or more flattering on. So before we put them on let me show you guys what the wig look like. So inside you can see that the cap is a machine wefted cap. You have a comb in the back, adjustable straps in the back, and then in the front you have one comb on each side of your head as well as one in the center. So I'm gonna put each one on and show you what they look like and tell you a little bit about them while I style them. And I'll be right back. Okay, so this is what the first one looks like on. They're obviously gonna look the same on. The only difference is gonna be the color variants. Um, this is the one. I actually love the way the cap feels on my head. Only thing is the bang is too long, so I'm going to have to cut it a little bit shorter. Um, so you have two options. Either you can trim her down, or you can try to pull her back. Let's see how that works. like once you bump it a little bit honestly it didn't take much but I did want to bump the ends I usually prefer a choppier straight like bone straight um, bob but to me this one needed like an ever so slight bump not too much um, as you guys see before the bang was too long when I had it like a little bit further up on my forehead as far as the cap goes but I just pulled it back a little bit and the bang is exactly how I like it. I do like my bang like a half of an inch or a quarter of an inch too long where it almost like it's going to cover your eyes. That is my style or my preference when it comes to bangs. But of course you can pull it back even more if you want it to be shorter or you can go ahead and cut it. The only thing is because I did pull it back the top of the um closure is way back here so um if that looks weird to you or you don't like that feel free to go ahead and just put it in the position that you want that closure to be and then go ahead and trim any excess if it is too long simple fix not a big deal but i actually like the way this look on me i've been trying to do a little bit of different styles that i've never seen on myself now I always love trying to base on myself, but I didn't know what it would look like with a straight 
short bob that had no kind of real dimension to it but it actually looks really good let me show you guys what it looks like from the back i did not bump the back as much so forgive me if it's not perfect try it but I don't know if I'm gonna like it and I actually really 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 do like it this is inspiring me to do a long wig with the China thing as well because it has been a minute since I've seen myself with this kind of bang I feel like right here is a little piece that needs to be cut but as far as tangling and shedding you are getting tangling and shedding on a fairly new wig um this short then that's not the way for you there's no reason for this wig to tangle or shed and it has it um i don't know if you guys can see that but it is a nice yakky texture so it does look a little bit more natural and mimic african american um hair this one is the color one and i actually love the way this look so let's see what the 1b looks like on I will try to do a side-by-side -side comparison so that you can see on screen what each looks like next to each other to see the difference but off the camera or with one off and one on this is kind of what it looks like and this is what the 1b looks like i don't know if it's in my head the placebo effect but i do kind of feel like um, i can tell the difference i feel like the other one was a little bit more mod more chic more sleek whereas this one fits in with like your daily mom bob i guess you can say even though the color is such a slight difference this one just looks a little bit more wearable to me i think in the sense that it's a more natural color and the other one looks like um like you're dressed up like you're going somewhere to me um but again this is the one b i kind of feel like the bang on this one is a little bit wider as well not sure if i'm tripping or not but they both are super gorgeous so the wigs were shipped via fedex i received them and i want to say about three business days so that was super fast um no cl complaints about that my only complaint I can say with this whole um, wig thing all together is how they come. Um, because they come in two bags inside of your FedEx package, um, it does interfere with the style of the wig. Um, I think that the purpose, or not the purpose, but um, it does only take about two minutes to literally take your flat iron and just bump, 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 going around. Because it's still straight, it's just that the bang is, um, or for me the bang was bent out of shape so i had to like fix it and then fix the ends really quickly um not a big deal but if i had to say one thing negative that would be it which in most cases you have to style your wig yourself anyway so it's not really that big of a deal but i hope that you enjoyed the wig comment below and let me know if you can see a difference between the two and if you can let me know would you prefer the one or the one b don't forget to check out and know your hair. I do have the product listed in the description bar as well as a link to the website and all of that information. Also, don't forget to subscribe and share this video with your friends. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.